All right, that's enough of that bollocks. Uh, on the last Fuck Konami news, that's all the news is fit to make you say Fuck Konami, I may have said with my words that Metal Gear Solid 5 sold like 4.9 million copies or however many million copies it was, I can't remember exactly what I said, I'll Google it, uh, but uh, I did misspeak that was uh, pertaining to the entire Metal Gear Solid series, not just Metal Gear Solid 5. Now, I haven't been able to blame my assistant Chip for that error due to the fact that he's been in prison recently on uh, on charges of fraud. Something to do with some gambling website, Pogs for Boglins or something. I don't know, never heard of it myself. But as soon as he's out of jail, which will be, ooh, I don't know, as soon as I can call him and get it arranged, uh, he will be in the studio and he will take the punishment for making me missay things on Fuck Konami News, because it was definitely his fault, okay? Let's get on with the show, it's gonna be a right corker. I tore down Overwatch's loot crate system at launch for being a shitty and manipulatively designed way to pressure a certain subset of the audience into paying real world cash for in-game items, because it was, and I was met with much resistance from a significant portion of viewers, a lot of whom are usually on board with me when I talk about fee to pay games when Electronic Arts or Warner Brothers are in the pillory, but just couldn't countenance criticism of the hottest Blizzard masterpiece. Oh Jim, I dunno, I think you're reaching on this one, they're just cosmetic, this really looks like the best example of microtransactions I've ever seen in a game, they're just cosmetic, I think you're too hardline on your stance on fee to pay games, it's not really gambling Jim, they're just offering a nice bonus, they're just cosmetic, don't blame Blizzard, they breathe through their skin. Many folks bought Blizzard's sales pitch, hook, line and sinker that the microtransactions were merely there by popular demands, that they were there as a thank you to the fans who had supported the game, yes they actually claimed its fee to pay elements were a fucking gift, they even bought the usual trotted out excuses that they don't accept from other publishers. The microtransactions are optional, everything can be earned in game, they're just cosmetic, they're just fucking cosmetic, I want that phrase etched onto my cocking tombstone. All of these bullshit lines are ones I've deconstructed effortlessly in the past, with nary a naysay until Blizzard said them. Ah, but what a difference a few months can make. For a limited time only, Overwatch's reward system has had a significant change for the worse, and Blizzard's peeled off its fan friendly, selfless, innocent little mask to reveal the drooling, money-hungry lizard face underneath. With its recent update, Blizzard's confirmed what y'all really should have learned by now, it wants your fucking money, and if you give it an inch it'll take not just a mile, but the complete goddamn piss. So here's the deal, there's new loot added to Overwatch that ties into the Rio Olympic Games, a whole new offering of skins that are of course touted as highly desirable, and feeding into that haves and have nots tactic that pushes users in the direction of Baby's first gambling game. Here's the rub though, they don't perform like other loot items in the game. For a start, they're limited edition, with all new loot disappearing after August 22nd. Adding to that is the fact that unlike every other costume in the game, none of these ones can be unlocked via the in-game currency, which means you can't just hoard coins and get the one or two you want, you have to rely on luck by getting them in crates. Adding to that is the fact that any loot crates you already have are guaranteed to not have any Rio skins so I hope nobody was saving theirs in the hopes of new stuff. Adding to that is the fact that these skins are still governed by all the other laws that make Overwatch's loot system so shite. The prevalence of useless fucking sprays, the common issue of unlocking items you've already unlocked in exchange for a paltry handful of coins, etc. It's basically all the crap stuff with none of the tiny amount of benefit. The common consensus, even among a lot of users who previously defended the microtransactions, is that this is a bald-faced attempt to make real money purchases even more manipulative and seductive, which it is of course. With a deadline on these items and probability not in the player's favour, the only efficient way for someone who really wants a skin to get it is to be what the industry dehumanisingly calls a whale and throw money at the thing to up their chances. And of course you could spend a metric fuck ton on the game and still not get what you want because it's all completely luck based. Welcome to baby's first gambling. Thanks to the obviousness of the ploy and the month since launch inevitably calling down the hype and allowing people to be a bit more critical, or at least care less about instinctively defending their favourite corporate product, a lot of people are finally annoyed at Blizzard this time. I know I've been inundated with emails on this one, making it almost as requested a topic as Payday 2's safe keys update. My favourite one was from a viewer who told me they didn't agree with me before, but definitely see my point now. And look, I'm not using this entire episode as an excuse to point out how right I was and how generally fantastic I am, though that's a nice fucking bonus. I totally agree that Blizzard's be 
being a contriving, psychologically bummeling, double-dipping, wallet-sniffing whale hunter, the only added point I want to make is that I was saying it from the very beginning. There's one thing you'll need to remember. Blizzard isn't your friend, and when it talks about giving back to the fans by offering them new ways for you to spunk money into their bank account, it's talking complete and utter goat scrotum. You should have known that already, because Blizzard's proven how disingenuous and greed-driven it can be before. To help you in future, I have two words for you that you can always remember whenever you find yourself swayed by the honeyed words and sugar-coated explanations from the studio's mouthpieces. Auction House. Remember the auction house? It was basically eBay for Diablo 3 loot, with Blizzard enjoying a tasty cut of the money players were paying each other for rare weapons and gear earned in the RPG, an RPG that was mauled and gutted in order to accommodate said auction house. Blizzard had its excuses then as it does now, the same insincere spiel defending the whole thing, but that didn't really change the reality that, as with any game that wants more money after you've already paid the premium entry fee, it was doing its best to get away with coaxing, seducing and bottlenecking players into stumping up more green. The entire loot system of Diablo 3 was changed so that you kept getting gear for characters other than your own. You just got a useless pile of shit. And always online connection was required to play the game thanks to the auction house, which completely fucked up the game at launch as servers could not stay up even if you just wanted to play the shitting thing solo. And Blizzard told us all how integral to the game this auction house was, how the experience just could not be had without it. And Till it stopped being a cash cow and it was removed and the game was way better for it and Blizzard hopes you'd all forget that shit it said about the game needing it so badly and rightly conclude that it'll say anything to get your money. But of course, Bioware's response to the anger this time has been nothing but the same old tired, tired, tired fucking BS. The event has a ton of absolutely free content available to all players for free, stressed Blizzard's Jeff Kaplan. The idea is play the game and get free cool rare stuff for the next three weeks. Yes, you can buy loot boxes but you can also earn them for free just by playing free 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 man the word free sure is used a lot there crash bang wallop what a salesman but really it's the same justification for microtransactions that you see used by any other developer oh it's all learned in game the idea is to play the game and unlock everything that way i mean never mind the fact we clearly want you to spend money otherwise we wouldn't have given you the option to spend more money no really we're just giving this shit away kaplan was quick to remind the angered about blizzard's generosity, pointing out how they gave the world Anna with skins and emotes that could all be purchased with in-game credits, and of course more microtransactions. The best bit about the event's justification was this line though, my impression so far is that it's been well received, once you remove the debate over the items not being available for credits. Yes Jeff. No, no, you're absolutely right. Once you remove all the complaints about your event, there sure are no complaints. Look, <laughs> for that matter, the response to this video is going to be 100% positive once you remove the people maintaining that none of this matters because it's just cosmetic. But heaven forbid you change a schoolgirl's skirt length in a game because that's censorship. It doesn't matter how much you like Blizzard's games or how convincing you may find their spiel about wanting to give stuff away and treat us all by making special rare things. There's a simple truth you need to understand. If it's beneficial to Blizzard to fuck you, it will fuck you. That's not even an attack on Blizzard, even if it sounds like it. That's just a truism of all corporate entities. That's what they do. They're not your pals, and they don't just give shit for free, no strings attached. It's a hard lesson people have had to learn from Valve, once the darling of comment sections everywhere, now a gold standard in not giving a fuck. As we explained last time we talked about these skins and the game's atrocious loot system, I do understand some of you don't care about how your characters look and are just there for the raw gameplay. There are people who see Pokemon as nothing but raw numbers on a page and don't care about the actual designs too. But the fact is, a lot of people do care about what is legitimate in-game content, no matter what you say, that does affect their experience, no matter what you say. Blizzard knows how to pull their strings, and that's what it's been doing, no matter what you say. It's not being generous, it's not being a stand-up buddy, it's being what it's always been. The company that proudly brought you the auction house. And I got a bit of disappointing news uh, to UK viewers who may have been planning to watch Jimquisition Takes London in September. Um, brutal short story, not happening. Uh, not yet. Uh, it turns out that I have a large rupture in my back that sensibly looking at it, it's probably not gonna get sorted or at least it's uh, 
it's not going to be wise to be spending a lot of time traveling uh, this sort of close to hopefully getting it fixed. So it's going to have to be put off. This isn't a cancellation. Uh, because I do definitely need to get to the UK for several reasons and uh, a Gymquisition live show is definitely going to be one of them. Uh, so basically as soon as I'm 100% fighting fit we will relook at this. I will get it set in stone properly before I announce it. Um, I do apologize for speaking so soon. I honestly didn't realize quite how serious the issue I have is. Uh, so I really wanted to make that soft announcement. Um, but it's not, f it's not fair to keep that going because honestly, I was really just really hoping to still make it out there. And there's still an, in an outside chance I could get to the UK, but um, I just don't want to have people make plans and stuff and then have to pull out because it turns out that it's just too, too uh, painful or just too unwise to travel. So definitely happening. It's just probably going to be, we'll be looking at sometime next year now. So sorry about that. Um, I do want to assure you though, that that also is the fault of Chip, my assistant, who will be in the studio to answer for those crimes sometime in the near future, uh, as soon as I get around to getting out of prison um, whenever that happens. It's just down to whether I remember it in time for the next episode or not. Really, that's how that works. But it is his fault, so fuck Chip, and thank God for me, who was completely right about Overwatch and its shitty loot system, which is still shitty. No one ever listens to me, but now look who's laughing. Me, I am the one who's laughing. <laughs> right to the end, just like a friend.